Okay, as is the usual, let's go over the homework first. Solve each compound inequality. Number one, x is greater than or equal to than three and less than or just less than twelve. Sorry. So, it's an and. Means if I look at the graph. Zero, three, twelve. It's greater than or equal to three. And less than twelve. And you didn't have to graph it, but I'm just showing the graph to illustrate the point. And an and is all the numbers in between. So, you do 12 is the highest number. X is less than 12. And then since X is greater than or equal to 3, see how that alligator is eating a bigger number. That is your compound inequality. Number two, this is an or. So it's greater than or equal to negative five or greater than negative three. Now an or we include all the numbers that are shown are basically the bigger option should be the bottom one which is number the beginning of number two x is greater than or equal to negative five number three and n. zero negative one Negative 10. It's got to be less than negative 1 and less than negative 10. So that would be all of these numbers. So basically, x just has to be less than negative 10. x is greater than 5, or x is less than negative 8. Now this is an example where they go in opposite directions. Because they're going in opposite directions, it could work for either option because it's an or. So, your answer doesn't change. x is greater than 5 or x is less than negative 8. Number 5. X is greater than negative 5 and X is less than negative 11. Here's another one where they go opposite directions. But this is an and question. Why is it doing that? Since this is an and question, it means that they can't be going opposite directions. So there's no solution. They can't be bigger than negative 5 and smaller than negative 11. It's not possible.
Okay, number six. X has to be greater than negative five or less than five. Now for an or we include everything. So you'll see with these those go in opposite directions. Well, obviously go in opposite directions, but not the same way as this. An or includes all these numbers out here and all these numbers out here. So this would be all real numbers. If you just think about it, it makes sense. Every real number either has to be bigger than negative 5 or less than 5. It's going to fall into one of those two categories. Number 7. X is greater than negative 8 and less than or equal to 8. Remember, and is where they're both at. And so X has to be less than 8 Shoot an open circle by the way. and greater than negative 8. So it's all the numbers in between the two. That was a bad line to start with. Let's try it again. It's a little better. <clears throat> We have x is greater than or equal to 5, and x is less than 8. Greater than or equal to 5, less than 8. And it's an n, so it's all the numbers in between the two. So 8. That's it. Okay, last two. X is less than negative three and plus. The negative six. It's an and, so it's where they intersect, which makes it x less than negative six. And last one. Oops. It's a bad place for a zero. X is greater than 3 or X is greater than negative 5. Remember, if it was an AND, it would just be where they intersect. But it's an OR, which means that it comes all the way back to here. And it's all numbers that are greater than negative 5. Okay, these can be a little rough in the beginning, but you'll get used to it, especially with the ands and the ors. <clears throat> Five three compound inequalities day two. <clears throat> Here's 
during discussion. Today we're going to combine the idea of AND and OR with our solving skills. So we're going to look at questions like 2x plus 5 is greater than 11 or 3x minus 5 is less than 10. We'll solve each inequality first. So you might want to write that down. You're going to solve each inequality first, then figure out the correct solution set by, use, by using our summary skills from yesterday. It should be a yesterday right there, not a Friday. Today's objective, you'll be able to solve a compound inequality. Example one, we have negative 3x plus 8 is greater than negative 1, or 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 4 is less than 24. So the first thing we're going to do is solve each of those. Let's start by subtracting 8 from both sides on this one. Gives you negative 3x is greater than negative 9. And you divide by negative 3. It gives you x is less than, remember you had to flip the inequality, 3. Over here, distribute the 3 first. It gives you 6x plus 12 is less than 24. Subtract the 12 from each side. 6x is less than 12. Divide by 6 x is less than 2. So we have x is greater than 3 or x is less than, uh, sorry, x is less than 3 or x is less than 2. Because it's an or, what does or mean? It means when at least one thing is true. So, it would be x is less than 3. And that's your final answer. Example 2. Three is less than two x plus seven. Give me one second Sorry, having some technical difficulties over here. Anyhow, let's move forward. Just can't see where my marker is until I move it. Okay. So, if we have 2x, 3 is less than 2x plus 7, that's the same as 2x plus 7 is greater than 3. So, let's subtract the 7 over. Minus 7 gives you 2x is greater than negative 4. Divide by 2, x is greater than negative 2. On the other side, combine your like terms. 3x plus 2x. you 5x plus 6 is less than or equal to 21. Then you subtract 6 from both sides. It gives you 5x 
is less than or equal to 15. Then divide by 5. You get x is less than or equal to 3. Now remember, this is an and in here. So since it's an and, it's got to be x is less than or equal to 3, and it's x is greater than negative 2. So negative 2 is less than x. And that's how you write this compound inequality solves the whole way out. Easy, right? Example 3, 5x plus 7 is greater than 32, and 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 5. So the first thing we have to do is find where my pen's at. Subtract 7 from both sides. Really bother me. There's no saving it. So first subtract 7 from both sides. It gives you 5x is greater than 25. Divide by 5. And x is greater than 5. On the other side, you can add 5 to both sides, They're equal to 5, so if you think about this, what does AND mean? AND is the intersection of the points where they meet, so look at our graph, this question, greater than 5 and less than or equal to 5. Where do these meet at? Well, it looks like they meet at 5, but this open circle means that it doesn't work for 5. So your answer for this one would have to be no solution. No solution because both things can never be true. X cannot be bigger than 5, and it cannot be less than or equal to 5 at the same time. Okay, let's do the U tries. There are four of them. I'll put the second two on the next page. Okay, right now you're only responsible for these two. I will show you exactly how to do number two, but I want you to try it first. Okay. Number one, first subtract five from both sides. It gives you three X is less than negative 12. Then divide by three, so X is less than negative four.
on the other side. First, subtract this 8. Gives you negative 4x is less than or equal to 12. Divide by negative 4 gives you x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Don't forget you have to flip to the inequality. Then, some or, when is x less than negative 4 and greater than or equal to negative 3? There's no way to combine those because they go in opposite directions and don't touch at all. So it's just x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Number two, hey, my pen came back. This is really just an and question. This would be negative one is less than x plus three, and x plus three is less than five. So you just solve it like that. Track three from both sides. Negative four is less than x. Track 3 from both sides. X is less than 2. And it's still an and. So you just combine those two. Negative 4 is less than X, which is less than 2. That's your final answer. Number 3. First, distribute this 2. It gives you 2x minus 8 is less than 3x plus 6. Now, you got to get your x's together. Subtract 2x. Negative 8 is less than x plus 6. Subtract 6. Negative 14 is less than x. On the other side, got to get the x's together again. Negative 8 is less than 4 minus 2x. Subtract 4. Negative 12 is less than negative 2x. Divide by negative 2. It's going to give you positive 6 is greater than x. It's an and question, so it means the x goes in the middle. So x is less than 6. And greater than negative 14. Next one, 2x plus 3x, but combine like, ter like terms first. Gives you 5x minus 8 is less than or equal to 7. Distribute to 3. 6x plus 12 is greater than or equal to 30. Add 8 to both sides, gives you 5x is less than or equal to 15. So x is less than or equal to 3. Or, track 12. Six 6x is greater than or equal to 18. Divide by 6, x is greater than or equal to 3. So x is less than or equal to 3, or x is greater than or equal to 3.
So x can be any number that's less than or equal to 3 or bigger than 3, which means that it is all real numbers. Every number is either one or the other. Okay, that's it for today. Go ahead and start your homework.